welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. This is part five in a six part series of uh, videos I shot on a collection acquisition. So this was one entire collection that I was able to purchase. Um, and I, it came with so many models, I knew there was no way I could do it all in one video. So I split it up into six different videos to go through um, to show you what all I got. Um, so up first this week, I've got a number 66 Greyhound bus. Um, this is not, not in bad shape, but the box definitely has some condition issues. Got a little tear there in that flap. Um, and a lot of, I don't know if you can tell, it's a lot of wrinkles, just sort of wrinkles and bends in this one. Um, I think we might be able to press some of those out. And uh, some of these tears here, uh, we might, might go ahead and use some mending tissue on those just to keep those from, from tearing any further. But uh, overall, the box isn't in bad shape. It's not great, but it, it's I'd call it good. Uh, we've got a couple little creases up there as well. Um, and a lot of wrinkles on that end flap. But uh, all the artwork's there, all the tabs are in place, intact. Um, the model is absolutely amazing. Look at this thing, mint original. So very, very pleased with this. All the decals are there. This is something, I think I've talked about this in an earlier video, but you see how that decal rolls over sort of that casting line, that high edge casting line, that tells me that this has never been played with because if it was, that would be one of the first things to wear off that thin little decal hanging up on top of that. But since it's there and it's still intact, I know that this has never been played with. So really good shape. Um, you see all the casting lines in the wheels, bottom looks like it's in pretty good condition. It's a little dirty, but um, nothing that we can't clean up real quick. Um, glass, the plastics look perfect. No scratches, dings, dents, breaks, cracks, nothing. So really nice little model on this. Box has a couple issues, but all easily fixable. Um, I mentioned in the earlier videos, but uh, the way I... I bought this collection as a whole and ended up breaking out to about $13 a car. Um, and most of the time I'll spend $13 for a box, um, let alone some mint condition cars. So got a very good buy on this. Um, up here we've got a number 17 horse box. Um, this box has a couple little condition issues here, some tears on this end flap. It's almost torn off. Um, inner flaps are intact. It looks okay. We got another little tear down there, um, but overall not too bad. Uh, all the artwork is in intact. Don't have any rips or tears on that, and these are all easily fixable issues. On the model itself, um, this one looks really nice. Uh, no scratches on the plastic. Bottom looks minty fresh, wheels are nice and clean. And uh, it's got the side door. Does it have the horses? Oh, would you look at that? It's got the original horses. Now, I don't know, because I always try to get, whenever, whenever I can, I try to get these when they're still on the sprue. And I don't know how these came. I don't know if they came loose like that in the box, um, or if they would have had some sort of a sprue you could see couple little points there where they would have attached to something that they were molded on but um, got both the different castings of the horse one with head up and one with head down um, in the original so if you know if those came on a sprue or not uh, leave me a comment down below uh, I'd love to learn a little bit more about this but it's got the original horses uh, tough to find with, with this model so another really great little find As I said, I, I purchased these models for $13 a piece, a little over $400 in total. Um, I ended up with, I think, 36 original box models and uh, four of the 92 issue models uh, and then a couple other little random things in there. So 
Um, very, very good purchase. I, I feel like I got a great deal on these. So up next, I got a 25, number 25 BP tanker. Um, box looks pretty good. Couple little, little condition issues there on the end flaps. This one's got a tear starting in the corner, but all the inner flaps are there. They're intact and no bad bends or creases, um, no rips. So overall pretty good shape, a little box on this. Um, model's not bad. It's got a couple of little dings and dents here, especially in the top, um, areas that I would normally identify with as play wear. So I, th I do think this one was probably played with. A um, little more wear on the wheels than I would would look at if it was really truly minty. But um, overall, I'd still give this probably a 95 out of 100. Uh, pretty pretty good shape on this. This had the uh, cab over that tilts up. You can see the the uh, seats and the steering wheel are all still there. You can tilt those forward to see the engine. So that all works and is in place. So pretty great little little piece to have there. I'll have to look at some of the other ones of these that I have and see if this is in better or worse shape. But um, decals are all in place. Those are the original decals. So pretty nice little piece. Um, most all these models in this collection have been comparable condition. Some of them have been absolutely what I would consider top of the line pieces. Um, some of these others have had some small issues here and there. And uh, this is uh, another one of those models that has just a couple small issues. So the first one right off the bat you can see is this tear in the surface of the box. And there's a big dent in that. And I hate to say it, but I think this is from uh, shipping when it was sent to me because I don't find it in the photos that I was sent. Um, so it's really important when you buy or sell these, you got to take that care uh, to make sure that they're all wrapped and they're in really good shape. Um, so this one, I, I think it's probably something that I can fix. I'm going to try to fix it, uh, get some, some glue and some mending tissues in there. Uh, hopefully that will come back together and won't be terribly noticeable in the artwork. But uh, other than that, this box is beautiful, um, which just makes this all the more sickening um, that one that was so nice has this issue now from shipping. Uh, if we look at the model itself, um, again, great condition on this. Um, no edge wear at all, especially in the areas where you would expect it. Uh, around these corners and stuff on the box, but um, this one is perfect. It's shiny, it's got all the original decals intact. Um, wheels, you can see all the casting lines and the sprue pieces, so never played with um, mint original. This, this is as good as it gets. Look at that, a little hydraulic piece works because the plastic isn't worn out on it. So great, great piece. Um, and hopefully we can fix that little issue on the box. Another, another good model. And then last but not least, I've got a number 30 uh, eight wheel crane. Um, picked up a couple of these recently, uh, various states, various uh, levels of condition and, and play wear, but uh, this is a really nice original box. Absolutely no issues. I can't find anything wrong with this one. No rips, tears, everything is, is really, really good condition. And the model is just as good, if not better. Um, no edge wear at all anywhere on this. You see it's got the original plastic hook. You see the little tab even from the, the sprue where it was snapped off. Um, nice shiny chrome on the metal base plate there. And uh, this one still has even some stiffness in it because the the, de um, the detent here on the bottom, it's, it's never been played with. It's never been spun around, so it's not all worn. So this is still really tight on the crane. I can just kind of move it back and forth. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is as good as it gets, man. Uh, beautiful, original condition crane eight wheel crane so definitely the best one that i've got in my 
collection now. Um, absolutely amazing piece. Super happy to get that. So that's going to do it for this week. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. Click that subscribe button if you want to keep up with this and all of our future videos. And join us next week for part six, the conclusion of our collection acquisition series.